Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. You are back with Mystery Meerkat. And today we are playing something a little bit different. Um, I actually wanted to play Jurassic World uh, Evolution for you guys, but for some reason I could not get it to work on my PC. Not a clue why that is. So I basically decided to give you guys a look at Parkitect. Now this is probably going to be the only video that I will do uh, on this game. Um, it is a game that I've had in my library for a while, I've just not really recorded it. Um, just with the state of the game as it was, um, but it's, it's been a long time since I played this game, so it's, it's come on a long way as far as I understand. It's now on full release rather than being early access. Um, they, they released it uh, sometime at the end of uh, 2018 I believe, um, sort of around November time if I'm not mistaken. Um, can't be 100% sure on that, but we're going to go straight in and look at the campaign uh, straight off. Um, so here's how we go, we've got Park Plains, we've got two places, can we do both places? We can do Maple Meadows or we can do Loopy Lagoon which is the tutorial. Now I sort of already know what I'm doing, so I'm inclined to say that I don't want to do the tutorial. So let's go straight in for this. So scenario, have at least 200 guests in your park. Optional, complete all non-optional non goals by the end of December year one. Okay, so this shouldn't be too difficult, I don't think, as long as the game's not ridiculously hard. So let's, uh, now let's just do that and we'll pause the game while we read this. So a large clearing on the frontiers of a maple forest perfect place to build your first park from the ground up. Easy going guests, relaxed weather, what more could you ask for? Okay, so yeah, we now have, have 200 guests in your park, complete it by the end of December year 1, and we'll be golden. Um, not going to look at that, so let's have a look at the park then. This way, it looks like this bit is our park actually. So yeah, I got, I got the wrong way around. For some reason I thought this outside bit was the park, but it's not. It's this bit in the middle right here. So we've got... This is our janitorial area sort of place dealy thing. Um, so what we're going to do straight away, go straight into the rides. Now let's put some nice easy rides up front here. We're going to put all four of these rides in this little area I think. Um, yeah. Because if we pop that there, I'm thinking, pop our entrance over here, exit down here, um, set that off to orange, and paths, I want Q, uh, we'll do it in that one, now, if I remember rightly, yeah, so we don't want the Q to be too long, but we don't want it to be too short at the same time. I'm going to use the same path as what they've used here, just to keep it nice and in theme. And that'll do us for our first ride. And next one, we're going to go teacups on the opposite side, perhaps. Oops. Teacups, move that out of the way. There we go. So what was that? Three back. One, two, three. So we pop that there. Yeah, that works, right? Entrance, exit. Path, Q, we're going to do the same as what we did with this one, and pop that there like that, um, in fact we might as well just open these straight away, right so that's that done, now we need the ferris wheel and the spiral slide, now I know there is a way to rotate these. And I always forget the buttons for it. We can do all sorts. Uh, is it shift? No, shift's to lower it. Um, oh, space is... Oh, well, it was right up there. All along, and I missed it. So I'm going to put this right here. And then we're going to put the entrance there, exit there. I'm going to open that straight up, put the path down for it, and then we need a queue. I'm only just going to do a small key for that, and then the spiral slide, 
There's only a saw thing. I'm going to put that there. Then again with the entrance on this one, uh, open it straight up because it can only just be opened or closed. Come on. Oh, okay, it needs an exit. Yeah, well we knew that, okay, but I just wanted to open it anyway. So there we go, that's that down. Path, done, queue. I expect that the spiral slide might be a little bit busier than the other place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this, like that, there we go. So those four are in that little area there, that's what we wanted. Now next thing, I want to... Trees, here we go. I'm just popping these down to cover the path up a little bit. I want these guys going to come down. Now, first things first. What I do want to do, move that out of the way, take that out. Take that out there. Alright, because I want something to go here. It's most likely going to be like an information booth or something, and then maybe some flowers down the sides. So we don't have that yet. I have the wise Gravitron, Twister, Wipeout. Have some coasters ready to go. Spinning coaster or mini coaster? Is it a mini coaster? Let's see how much these cost. How much money do we have? 25,000 left. Arm River Ride? Oh, those are cool. That's awesome. Okay, so we're going to take this person's creation and put it right over in this corner. And then maybe the Lumber Run one? Where's the entrance for this? Not got enough for any of these yet. Oh no, we do. We do have enough for one of these. Crazy Kingdom. That one was cool. I'm not sure we're gonna have space for this though. We would if we bought that other plot of land over there. I don't really think we want to be doing that right now. So we'll just cancel that. We want to be taking this over here. Uh, do we want to change the path? Right. So this is an outdoor food court. So we just we've got our burgers in there. I'm gonna put maybe a fruit juices down there. Uh, burgers, fruit juices, pretzels on the other side. And then also a toilets in there. Maybe a couple of toilets. The one there. Cover that up, there we go. Right, okay, so we got a bit of our food court done. We could ideally do with bringing this around.
Pop that in there. And if we do one of these paths. And then we tell it to go down. There we go. That'll do me for that, I think. I do think we need to recolor it all though. There we go. That's our little eating court, little food court going on there. Now we need to put some thrill rides in if we've got enough money. Thrill rides, Gravitron. Now we're going to get the Gravitron and the Twister in here, I think we might do. And maybe the wide part behind here. Yeah, that's a good idea because then we can have the entrance to the white part there. Exit there. So then that exits them straight onto the food court. Which is not a bad plan at all. See you guys, I got an idea. I'm gonna put the Gravitron. Oh, I've already got the white part. What am I doing? Um, Gravitron and the Twister practically next to each other, like so. Get the paths on. Might be able. thinking we might be able to get a little garden plaza no too big small nature walk just about fits the purpose Yeah, that'll do. Not really going to get it much better. Yeah, that'll do. That's better. We'll leave that like that for now. Do need to, need to make it look a little bit prettier, I think. So, if I put some flowers in. There are some white ones. And then we'll also have some purple ones. Or should we have had purple and green ones, maybe? No, I think the the white and the purple is nice. Not them running along there. Plants. Uh, Oops. Topiaries. You know, let's have some topiaries. Oh, no, in fact, they're not big topiaries, are they? Trees, props. I'll do me. Maybe have a couple of these guys over here too. They're pretty cool. I like them. The shrub turtles, there we go. Looking a bit better now in the entrance. I'm going to make it too fiddly to get in for now. Well, let's let some peeps in. Now we've pretty much got all the rides down and everything. Uh, we can do research, hire a new research team, research, yeah, research thrill rides, monthly budget 200, there we go. Market research, we don't want to do that for now. Uh, that's just monies and loans we can get. Janitor, we've got one janitor, we've got one hauler, we've got one mechanic, we've got no security or entertainers. 
could probably do more haulers. Um, I'll hire one more janitor as well. And one more mechanic. I know that these guys can't sell anything until the haulers have brought the foodstuffs up. But this guy's just got all the food stuff, so they can start selling things. Now, I'm not going to change any of that. I want them to do well. <clears throat> but as you can see now, our park is ready to go. Uh, I think this is closed. We need to test these. Because these are the ones that are going to make us the most money. test results on that one. High, low, very low. See if they pay three dollars for that without complaining. We're just waiting the results on this one. Still waiting for some stuff at this place. Medium, low, very low. Got three dollars on that. Three dollars on that. Three dollars on that. Maybe we should make this two fifty. There we go. Now these guys um, are what people have made and put onto the Steam store, um, which is quite cool. Um, I really think the people who can make stuff like this are quite, quite impressive. To be quite frankly honest, I mean. I'm, if I had the time to do this, then I may, I may well do that, but me personally, I just don't have the time to do it. Are we supposed to be like closing this ride because there's a storm going on or what? I don't understand. Uh, more intense than teacups. Let's go carousel. Spiral slide, spiral slide is awesome. Uh, a bit more intense than Gravitron. Really good deal. So, pop that up to three. Really good deal as well on this one, so, pull that up to four. And pull up to three. Uh, or maybe we should make this 350. Yeah, that'll do. I don't want to mess around with the prices too much, but that, that'll do for now. So we've got everything pretty much set, guys. We've got uh, all of this set up with the guys and everything in there selling the stuff. It looks like we've got enough people to cover the amount of shops that we have at the moment. Um, we've got burgers, fruit juices, pretzels, and toilets in there. Which I think is all we really need. We've got 176 people in at the moment. We're losing money. I think maybe we need to make the entrance price a little bit more. I think our park does definitely deserve a little bit more money than it's currently getting, but there we go. Carousel is broken, control failure. Go Karts is now available. Sweet. Let's kind of look at that. Uh, Karma Ride. Real Rides. Go Karts. Let's see what we've got. 
We don't have that much money. Right now. Only enchanted race. Oh wow, that's really small as well. Let me see if I can get any money actually. Um, I'll take the five grand. And then. See what we've got. Pause that. Daisy's Garden. Oh, Daisy's Garden is quite big. That's not going to fit in there. We would need to do the other one, I think. These two guys are too much. Enchanted Races is super tiny, though. Well, look, look at how small this is. Let's just pop it in there, I guess. Oh, that is right, isn't it? Like, I'm pretty sure that's the entrance and that's the exit. So. There we go. I knew you could do it somehow. So that's that done. I have a feeling that's going to be quite a money, money earner as well. Put that on four. Yeah, I'm kind of liking our little park here. A nice couple of little rides at the back. We've got a go kart ride, which is proper tiny. I'm really impressed with how small they've made this. Um, I'm just waiting for the next thrill ride, I think. We're nearly there, we're nearly at 200 guests right now, which is our objective. There we go. Completed a goal, you have at least 200 guests in your park. Completed all goals, there we go. So that's Maple Meadows completed, guys. Well done. It didn't take too long, to be fair. Pretty impressed with that. So, you finish Maple Meadows, you can play this scenario in sandbox mode now. Okay, so once you've unlocked them, you can play them in sandbox mode, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna get a little gold token now. Probably need to do the tutor tutorial at some point, but I don't really want to bore you guys with that right now. Um, so, we've been recording for about half an hour so far. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this episode here. Okay, now this episode's probably going to be quite short to be fair. Now I did say there's only really an introduction to this game. Um, it is very much akin to Roller Coaster Tycoon, the original ones. Um, it's very sort of blocky in that aspect, but with, just with very updated graphics, a lot more cartoony, a lot of bright, vibrant colours in there. Um, I really enjoy playing it. Um, I do have quite a few hours on it on Steam. Um, like I said, I've just not really brought it to the channel because it's more of a, I don't know, a relaxing me game. Um, but I've not, I've not really played it since they brought out the full version, which is a while now, to be fair. Um, but if you do enjoy this game, or if you've enjoyed watching me play this game, um, then head over and uh, on Steam and, and purchase it. Um, it's roughly about, I think, £20 at the moment, um, just full price, uh, which is not bad for the game itself. It's pretty good. It's got a lot of workshop content, um, and also there's quite a big um, sort of following uh, behind it um, with the people who create stuff for the workshop. It's pretty good in that in that respect, but um, it, it, it depends, because there is obviously a, a couple of other different games out there. Uh, one that I played before, um, which in itself is a brilliant game, um, and that's Planet Coaster. Um, so I think it, this is more nostalgic um, for me. Um, feels very much like the games from the past rather than being something or trying to be something new. Um, sort of a bit like Two Point Hospital, I guess. Um, very much in that in that sort of area. 
Anyway guys, I know I've been rambling on for a few minutes there, so apologies. I just wanted to give you my opinions on this game. It may well return to the channel. Um, I might do another another episode at some point in the future. I do enjoy playing it, so it's, it's not beyond the realms of possibility. But if you have indeed enjoyed watching this video, then please do leave a like on the video. And uh, next, if you've... Uh, got any comments or anything like that leave them in the comment section down below for me and I will respond to them uh, Lastly if it's the first time you have visited the channel then please do hit that subscribe button And just lets me know that I'm making decent content I guess or at least some some type of uh, content um, And yeah, I guess I'll see you in the next one guys. Peace out